COVID-19, formerly Novel Coronavirus 2019, Personal Protective Equipment or PPE, a guide for hospital clinical staff. This video is for hospital healthcare workers involved in the assessment and care of individuals with possible or confirmed COVID-19. It shows the type of personal protective equipment or PPE required and how to put it on and take it off safely. It covers how to put on or don PPE correctly, how to remove or doff PPE correctly and safely, including safe disposal of PPE to avoid cross-contamination to the healthcare worker and the environment, full infection prevention and control guidance and illustrated written guidance on putting on and removing PPE is available as part of the PHE COVID-19 guidance collection on gov.uk. This donning and doffing guidance is specific to COVID-19. Safe systems of working. PPE is just one part of safe systems of working. Only clinical staff who are trained and competent in the use of this PPE should be allowed to enter the patient room. Healthcare workers must be familiar with local operational arrangements for the safe care of patients with possible COVID-19. Hospitals need to identify areas for safe donning and doffing of PPE. Safe systems of working, including the correct use of PPE, will help protect you and others against infection. This is Cecilia and Chaba. Cecilia will be donning the PPE and Chaba will be her buddy for demonstration purposes. Where possible, the process should be supervised by a buddy at a distance of 2 metres. The buddy must be a member of staff also trained and competent in the use of this PPE. The buddy can assist the person putting on the PPE and perform a final visual inspection of the PPE ensemble, making any adjustments as necessary. If a buddy is not available, please follow the instructions and check each step is completed correctly. The recommended PPE components Gown Alcohol hand rub Gloves in the correct sizes Visor Goggles Respirator or respiratory protection Here are the recommended PPE components in more detail. A long, rear-fastening, fluid-resistant, long sleeve surgical gown in the correct size a fit-tested FFP3 respirator. There are a number of approved respirators and here are just two examples. A disposable full-face visor or goggles and gloves in the correct size. Before putting on PPE, perform hand hygiene. Pre-donning instructions. Ensure healthcare worker is hydrated. Tie hair back, remove jewellery, so no stoned rings, watches or bracelets, etc. And check PPE is in the correct size and available. Clean hands with alcohol, hand gel or rub. Step 1. Put on a long rear fastening fluid resistant and long sleeve disposable gown. Do not use the inside tie, but fasten the necktie with Velcro and then the waist ties. Make sure the gown is securely fitted at the neck and waist ties. If glasses are worn, remove glasses before donning the respirator. Clean them with an alcohol lens wipe and replace before donning the visor. Step 2. Put on disposable FFP3 respirator and check for fit. This must be the respirator that the healthcare worker is face fit tested to use. The FFP3 respirator must be compatible with other facial protection, e.g. your full face visor. If you have not been fit tested for the FFP3 respirator, you must not enter the patient's room. Position the upper straps on the crown of your head, above the ears and the lower strap at the nape of the neck. Ensure that the respirator is flat against your cheeks. With both hands, mould the nose piece down from the bridge of the nose, firmly pressing down both sides of the nose with your fingers until you have a good facial fit. Always perform a fit check before entering the work area. A successful fit check is when there is no air leaking from the edges of the respirator. For an unvalved product, exhale sharply to test. 
for a valved product, inhale sharply. If air flows around the nose, readjust the nose piece. If air flows around the edges of the respirator, readjust the headbands. If you still cannot obtain a successful fit check, do not enter the work area. Once the respirator is fitted, replace the glasses before fitting your face protection. Step 3. Put on your eye protection. A disposable full face visor is preferred. Goggles may be used if a visor is not available. If using a visor, ensure it covers all of your face, including your chin. Adjust the headband if necessary. If a buddy is not available, you will need visual confirmation that the visor is in the correct position. Step 4. Put on a pair of non-sterile nitrile gloves. These need to be available in the correct size. Ensure the gloves cover the cuffs of the gown completely. You should now check all items are in place. So make sure that you check that the gown ties at the neck and waist are secure, the respirator is correctly fitted, the visor is in position, and the gloves cover the cuffs. Once you are happy that all steps have been completed properly, you are now ready to enter the patient area. Step 5. When donning PPE has been completed, proceed to enter the patient's room. After entering the patient's room, remain vigilant of PPE integrity for yourself and any other staff members. In the event of a high exposure episode such as projectile vomiting, or if there is any concern about the PPE integrity, leave the room at the earliest opportunity and inform your buddy if available prior to removing any PPE. For further information, please refer to the Infection Prevention and Control Guidance in the COVID-19 Guidance Collection on gov.uk. With thanks to Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust. Special thanks to staff Cecilia, Jabba and Yusufa. Public Health England, protecting and improving the nation's health.